<laughs> hey, hey, thanks for joining us today. Before we get started, just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit like so we know uh, that you like it. We are going to uh, talk about a, a couple of things today. One, we tried a new piece of equipment uh, on our mm -hmm. uh, run today. And then also, because we just got back from our uh, big trip to Disneyland, we want to talk about what it was like uh, experiencing the parks in a, a new and different way uh, and uh, share that information with you. So, here we go. So today was scheduled to be a 19 mile day. Yes, it was. And here's what happened. So today we have a 100% chance of rain all day long mm -hmm. from 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. 100% mm -hmm. chance of rain. It's also currently 48 degrees. One or the other we can handle yep. easily. Yeah, well, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. 48 is perfect running weather. 48 and wet is not great. Um, so we kind of, I don't know, went back and forth on a, a while. Like, do we chance it being light rain and surviving? Or, you know, the flip side of that is what if it starts dumping when we're seven miles from the car? Or, you know, yeah. so we, we ultimately decided to just go on a shorter run today um, and, uh, and bump our long run to Monday because we both have the day off work. That's like our last day off for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to run a really long run on Monday. Yay. Yay. Um, which is fine. Yeah. yeah, It's okay. It's, okay. it's yeah. pretty rough. And and when we went out this morning, it was like, well, we were still kind of teetering on whether or not we we're going to do it. Went we were, out to walk the dog. Yeah. We went out to walk coach and uh, it, yeah. It was pretty cool. And, and the other thing too you brought up, which I mm -hmm. thought was really well, is we really put our... Uh, we feel that we put our immune systems uh, to the test when we were in Disneyland, uh, and yeah. you know, no need to to really keep pushing it. Mm -hmm. So you know, a couple a couple more days of uh, of kind of some rest, and, and then, no rain forecast for Monday. Right, it's going to be sunny, uh, a low of thirty eight, but a high of seventy one. So during our four plus hour run, yeah. uh, it should be really nice. Yeah. So that's what we opted for, but. We got a chance to try out a new piece of equipment. <laughs> Thank you, Rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as you know, as you may know, we use uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket for our running footage. It's a, a camera a gimbal setup, and we really love it. Um, but if it's raining, uh, it'll get ruined, and that's the last thing we want, right? Mm -hmm. So we invested in, and, and it wasn't uh, expensive. We invested in this. And it's a, a, a waterproof case uh, from a company called Ulanzi. And you slide the Osmo Pocket in, and the only two buttons that the Osmo Pocket has are on the front. And they're taken over by these two buttons. This is supposed to be absolutely waterproof. And it sure looks absolutely waterproof. Mm -hmm. So the footage today, oh, well, here's some of it right here. Uh, we're using this uh, waterproof case. And I had to wipe it down a couple of times because uh, it was raining. Uh, but uh, I think it's going to work out. The The only issue is I've gotten so used to carrying this little tiny Osmo Pocket. Uh, this guy, it's a little bigger uh, and it adds a little more weight uh, to it. But, you know, we'll figure it out because, you know, when we ran the marathon uh, two years ago, uh, it was hot and there was... Uh, which is rare for Florida. There was no chance of rain all day long. 
Uh, but if there had been, I don't know what we would have done. I actually took a little uh, Ziploc bag with me to keep the Osmo Pocket in, in case it did start raining and it wouldn't get soaked in my pocket. But uh, we just, we want to take footage because a marathon is, uh, it's exciting and, and there's so much to see and, you know, so many people running and costumes and, and characters and just the sights and sounds uh, uh, of the park. So we're really hoping this will work out if I can get used to holding it. But anyway, that's what we did today uh, during our run. Yeah. Kind of neat. Uh, and I'll put a, uh, in case you have an Osmo Pocket and you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and if you uh, are thinking about an Osmo Pocket, you can check out some of our videos where we cover uh, the Osmo Pocket and some of the settings that we use. Uh, we love it. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, finally... We went to Disneyland. We were surrounded by thousands of people. Thousands of people. For the first time in a long time, which was weird. It was weird. So we got in on a Friday, and and, and, and just so uh, to cover the whole trip, uh, from where we live to Anaheim is about 1,300 miles one way. Uh, so uh, when we got in, uh, we were tired, but we were, uh, we were excited. We haven't been in the park, any park. Uh, for uh, two years so we were really excited and uh, you know we were there also uh, to uh, celebrate our wedding anniversary that took place uh, there uh, three years ago so uh, when we got there we were ready uh, we parked uh, we had our tickets and our reservations and we went in the park um, and uh, it was it was great being there mm -hmm. it, it really was great being there but it's different. Uh, so, you know, we thought maybe we'd, we'd let uh, those of you who are gonna go, uh, uh, or maybe even if you have been, and you ha if you have been, share with us how, how you felt about it. It's different. Uh, you have to wear your mask indoors. Uh, it's optional outdoors. Uh, there were times where, when we were walking through uh, bottleneck sections of the park. Uh, a lot and, of people in some sections. A lot of people. Uh, you know, we decided, hey, let's put our, uh, let's put our masks on. Now, uh, just so you know, we're uh, vaccinated and mm -hmm. uh, we also have our booster. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, uh, you know, that uh, that was comforting to us, uh, but it was a little yeah. weird. It was weird. It was just a little weird. It took some getting used to. I feel like by Saturday, we felt better about it. Friday, we were just kind of frazzed from driving for, for two and a half days mm -hmm. and then, you know, pulling in and and jumping into the park, but I think by by Saturday, it didn't feel as weird. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was nice to not have it be super duper crowded, like it was last time we went. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I do appreciate them restricting the um, crowds. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, things like uh, mobile order are your friend. Mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. app uh, can be your friend when it works. Um, uh, and the other, the other thing that made it a little odd, I guess, for us is, you know, it's, Disneyland is uh, very clear about the requirement to wear a mask indoors. So if you're in the queue for a ride that's going to be indoors and the queue is outdoors, uh, I mean, it's easier just to wear your mask uh, in the queue. But it, obviously, when you're about to get on the ride, they expect you to put your mask on. So... There were a lot of times where the ride was stopped uh, because, you know, people weren't uh, putting the mask on when they got on the ride. So we, you know, you're, we were hearing constant reminders about the uh, need to wear a mask indoors and to wear it properly. That and they explained covering both your your nose and your mouth. So that was kind of interesting, and you know, it's. You know, after several hours in the park, it, it, it becomes a little tedious, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, because, I mean, just put a mask on and, and mm -hmm. everything will flow. Uh, and, and the other thing that we cannot um, emphasize enough, the cast members are fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, every single cast member we met or interacted with was absolutely fantastic. And they deal with uh, a lot of new stuff as well, uh, working the parks and... So if you go to a park, uh, thank a cast member. Uh, they need to hear it and they really deserve it because uh, they're putting up with, uh, mm -hmm. in, in some cases, they're putting up with a lot that they, they really shouldn't have to. And it's a tough job. So, 
you know, um, it was different. Um, uh, we had a great time. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. And, you know, all the rides that, uh, that we wanted to ride are, are just as enjoyable as we remembered them. Um, we even saw some new stuff like Avengers Campus that we, you know, it's new to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was really neat. It was, it was a lot of fun, uh, but um, it just, it's different. So as we prepare to go to Disney World, um, it's going to be probably a little different. Uh, and so, you know, heads up, just be ready. Um, yeah, it, it, it was neat though. And, and we, we really missed it. So, yeah. So speaking of the marathon, how many days? 40-ish. I still need to formally catch up, but we should be like in the low 40s at this point. Wow. I can't, we were counting down to the last vacation. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and I haven't, like, right. caught up now to count down to this one. Yeah. And uh, if you watched our previous video, uh, we had some uh, technical difficulties that prevented us from uh, uploading, uh, yeah. you know, when we usually do. So it kind of threw everything off. Mm -hmm. But 40-ish yeah. days until Marathon Weekend. Two super long runs left, including Monday. The long Slash run today. Monday's coming. That's going to be <laughs> 19 miles? Yeah. 19 miles on Monday, and then two weeks from then? 20, 21, probably 21. And then we'll start tapering off because we'll be getting ready. It's time. We have a lot of things to do, like... Mm, our costumes, we haven't started those yet. Uh, so we very, will, soon. We, very soon. We, as in, will be starting in earnest on our costumes. We're excited about that. Tell us how you're doing. What plans are you making? Where are you in your training? And... Like I uh, said earlier, if you've been to one of the parks, let us know what your experience was like. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have questions about uh, anything, ask somebody who knows, because we don't. We know some stuff. Uh, we know some stuff, yeah. <laughs> we do. Uh, we're pretty excited. Um, yeah, two more long runs. Wow. We're almost done. Almost done. Yeah. And then it's marathon time. You know what I always say? Always an adventure with you.